Hello, can you hear me now? Hello. Hey, can you hear me now? Yeah, sorry about that. That's I, okay. I'm not, sure. laptop. I'm not sure if it was you or me, but it doesn't matter. We are here right now. How's your, uh, how's your Saturday going? What's up? How's your Saturday? Oh, I was just painting ceilings uh, at my mom's house. So yeah, the shoulder is getting sore. <laughs> so before we get into it, I'm recording this. You're okay with that? Yeah. Beautiful, yeah. lovely. So um, let's get into it. Your shoulder's hurting. Which shoulder is it? Uh, my left one. Your left shoulder. This is going to be really fast today because all the software is already in your brain. Um, did, yeah. you ever, did you ever injure your shoulder or is it just like a chronic pain? It just suddenly start happening, I guess, maybe over time. Maybe I, I sleep on it quite a bit. Uh, and then I'm a painter, so I paint yeah. ceilings and walls all the time. So... Okay. Yeah, it gets worn down a bit. Um, are you are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed, left-handed. That's my shoulder that hurts. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. And 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 when did you first start to experience a problem in your left shoulder? Um, maybe a few years after I started painting. So maybe it's been about like five, six years now. Wow, five, six years. All right. So yeah. you, excuse me. You've been painting today. Um, on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being excruciating pain, zero being non-existent pain, what number is it at currently? Right now, like it's yeah. at a good nine. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Right. So, um, okay, let's, let's see what happens. All right. I okay. want you to imagine now that I'm reaching into your shoulder, that left shoulder. Just imagine I'm reaching through the zoom screen, through the camera right now, right? And imagine that I'm pulling out all of that. Actually, you know what? Let's rewind. What color is that pain in your left shoulder? First color that comes to mind. Yellow. Yellow, interesting. So imagine now I'm pulling in and I'm grabbing that yellow out of your shoulder, that left shoulder now, almost like it's some rope and I'm pulling it all the way out and as i pull it all the way out now imagine i'm pulling out all that discomfort all that pain that used to be a nine pulling it all out all of it even that last that last little bit right there that's still trying to stay right at the back that's right imagine now i pulled out all the way out all the way out and all that pain all the way out and it's all gone now close your eyes open your eyes what's your telephone number backwards I don't really care what your telephone number is backwards. Now, focus, right. focus on your shoulder right now. Zero to eight, zero to nine it was, wasn't it? Where's that pain gone now, zero to nine? Oh, my God. Uh, a three? Stop it. Still, still Stop there. It. Yeah. Come on. It's, it's a three that, after that? Just a three? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, a three. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna. If we, yeah, I told you it's gonna be fast. This yeah. Is the thing. Once we've worked together a few times, we could just get into it. Um, if we were gonna replace that thing that used to be pain in your shoulder now, that used to be yellow, if we were gonna replace it with a good feeling and a good color, what feeling and what color would you want? Um, purple, pink. Purple, pink. pink. All right, beautiful. Yeah. And what would be the feeling or the emotion or the sensation? Um, um, freedom? Freedom. freedom. All right. Good. So focus <laughs> back on your shoulder right now. Okay. I remember you. You're not a pulling kind of person. You're a pushing kind of person. <laughs> so imagine now I'm reaching through the camera, right? And I'm pushing. I'm pushing that yellow out of your shoulder all the way through the back of your shoulder into your rhomboid to that couch or seat behind you and pushing it all the way out to that wall behind you out of your home or apartment out of ontario right now out of north america right now all the way out and all the way out of this planet now and pushing it all the way out even that last little bit now close your eyes open your eyes What's your postcode backwards? It doesn't really matter what your postcode is backwards. In a moment, we're gonna put something good in its place, but now we're just testing on the thing that used to be pain. Zero to three right now. What number's it gone to now? I'm at a one, I a guess. One. All right. Well, it, yeah. 
Is there any good reason that you need to keep that one? No. How long? All right. And just show me, point to exactly where you're feeling it in that shoulder right now. Just right, right in the here. back, yeah? Just, is that the back or the side you're touching right there? The back. The back. All right. So it's almost gone. All right. So imagine this now. This is the magical finger. All right. And we're reaching through all the way through the camera now. And we're going to pinpoint now all the way through the front of your shoulder, almost like a surgeon, pushing it all the way back out of the back, that last little bit of yellow. And we're gonna place it with something good in a minute, but we need to get rid of that discomfort. Now, go on, close your eyes. Open your eyes. How do I spell your last name backwards? It doesn't really matter. Now, focus on that shoulder now. Where's that old pain one gone now? Feels good. I'm going to put something good in its place now, but I just want to make sure the proverbial bullet has been removed before we patch you up. Zero? But I, I think I give it one more shot, and I think uh, that will be, yeah, it's feeling way better. Like, normally it takes me forever to just lift my arm. Yeah. So we, so started, now, we started off at a nine, right? Yeah. Out of 10. Where are you yeah. right now? I'm at like, I'm still at a one. I'm still at like, I think there's just that one little bit left, so. All right, fantastic. So what I want you to do now is, do you remember that old video game called, um, I think it was called Pong, and it had um, those levels, and it would hit that ball, and then you, the, the, the computer would hit the, yeah, that one, there you go. It's, you know, it's, it's a better thing <laughs> than a, a visual or a representation. All I want you to do now is it look between your hands, right? And imagine instead of a ball that's ponging from side to side, it's that one that represents that last little bit of discomfort. Now, just imagine that one is just bouncing between both hands and it starts to get slower and slower and it starts to get smaller and smaller and it starts to get blurrier and blurrier until that one is now the size of a grain of salt, a grain of sand, until it's so insignificant that it just disappears. And when that one has disappeared, completely and everything it used to represent then just put your hands down when that's done when that's truly done yeah i think it's done you think it's good. Now, I want you not to use your brain. It's a feeling. So I want you to feel it. So remember, sometimes, sometimes we, 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 we are going to put something better in it. I heard, a, I heard a pop. You heard a pop. All right. But does it yeah. feel okay? I don't know. Test it. It feels good. It feels good. Yeah. It feels good. Yeah. <laughs> it feels <laughs> way better. So here's an interesting thing that my girlfriend told me a while ago, right? And it was, I, when I moved into the apartment I live now, for the first year, we couldn't go out on the balcony because they were rebuilding the balcony. They were removing the, um, it was like some brick um, and they replaced the brick and they put uh, glass. So now it's transparent. We, we can see to the other side and people can see our legs and stuff. But here's the interesting thing, because a lot of my work was from home. I would hear the workmen, and there's like hundreds of apartments right in this building. I would hear them drilling, hammering, and doing whatever they needed to do. It was a real racket. It was really loud every day from like 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it would do my head in, right? I'm very auditory. I'm very much in the sun. It was aggravating. So every day I would hear this. It would aggravate me. And then one day my girlfriend come home and it's, it's about four o'clock and she sees I'm in a bad state. I'm in a bad mood. I'm aggravated. She's like, babe, what's, what's wrong? I'm like, it's the sound. I've, I've had enough of it. It's been a whole year. It's doing my head. It's just on and on and on. I've heard it every single day. And she goes, it's four o'clock, right? She goes, but they went home early today. 
They went home at 12 noon. There were signs in the elevator. So I stopped. It was 4 p.m. They hadn't made a sound for four hours. But inside wow. my head, I played that auditory loop of that sound. And I took a moment and there was no sound. And then when I realized that there was no sound, it was just my head playing it over and over again. I stopped being annoyed. So have you ever had the experience of like somebody touching your hand or touching a part of your body, just pushing down and then suddenly they let go. But for a few seconds or moments later, it still feels as if they're touching you, even though they're not anymore. Right. You ever experienced anything like that? Yeah. Cool. So knowing that now, close your eyes, check on your shoulder. And I ask you now, before we put something good in its place, where's that old pain gone now? Zero to one. Has it all gone now? Yeah. It's, it's a little, I think it's just tender. Is that possible? Totally. So open your eyes. Yeah. So sometimes what happens, right, is when someone's had a chronic pain somewhere, I remember you noticed this when we worked on your back last week, was you had all Look. this stiffness and tightness on your back, right? And then when yeah. we finally pulled it out, yeah. you felt like tingling, a tingling kind of sensation going on yeah. there, which was like the energy, for want of a better word, or circulation more technically, uh, uh, you know, probably going to that area that it hadn't, it hadn't been able to kind of pass through without there being blockages before. So absolutely, you may feel some tenderness there. Well, but you want to make sure that the pain's gone. Now that I'm not moving it around, it's, I feel like um, the throbbing of my heartbeat in my shoulder now. Interesting. And is that, a, is that a different feeling? Is that a different sensation? Yeah, this is new. It feels like maybe there's like better circulation. Like I feel a heartbeat in my shoulder. That's crazy. <laughs> Upbeat in your shoulder, and just notice it's like throbbing. throbbing. <laughs> is it a good feeling? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a feeling. Okay, <laughs> did you have any feeling there before? No, this is the first time I've ever felt that before. So, human me experiences put your what's it, your left hand on your heart, and what I want to do is in unison with your heart start to tap your hand on your chest and actually start to move your hand a little bit on your chest so you're pumping it and just notice now as you slow down the okay. movement of your hand notice what happens mm. to that sensation in your shoulder now. Feels like it's better now. Feels like it's better now. So yeah. what you need to do now, relax your hands. Okay. Open your eyes and now imagine that into your shoulder now, because we've removed something, so you've got to put something better in its place. Imagine I put this purple and pink sensation in that shoulder now and we're just patching up that whole area of that shoulder now okay. that left shoulder with that that purple energy as if there's like a wall and we're putting that plaster in to keep that wall all together now but it's a very different type of plaster it's um purple and pink and imagine that purple and pink put in that gap now where that old discomfort used to be that purple and pink now close your eyes and now every time you see the color pink or purple red yellow green orange you start to feel this wonderful feeling of freedom inside your body and inside your mind now anytime wherever you go whenever you see the color purple whenever you see the color pink red yellow green orange brown red you're reminded of this freedom and this movement that you have in your life now that you can go forward and, and move in a way that's advantageous to you. Whenever in your life now you see the color purple, you see the color red, you see the color yellow, you see the color green, brown, black, blue, you feel that freedom, that 
movement, that leaving the past behind now as that blood starts to circulate perfectly. You start to have more and more feeling in that shoulder now, good feeling that lets you know that it's working, that it's alive, that that energy has been dispersed into that shoulder, that all the blockages have become unblocked now, that the pipes are open, that that energy can flow and full range of motion returns to your shoulder now with that wonderful sense of you can do anything now. And when you truly feel that, and you know that that's done in a way that feels right for you, then and only then, open your eyes. I'm starting to get that tingling feeling. That's right. Energy's returning to your shoulder. That's a good feeling. Yeah. <laughs> it felt good. This, this, the moment you said purple and pink, I felt it. It's weird, isn't it? That's nice. And imagine that purple and pink now dissolving any remnants of former discomfort that you used to have in that area. Imagine it dissolving it now, almost like an Alka-Seltzer tablet being dissolved in water. Or just imagine it's a sink full of water and you put a few drops of pink or purple food dye into that sink to suddenly... That water is now takes the colour completely now of that purple, of that pink now, filling in the gaps now, giving you full freedom now as circulation and energy starts to work perfectly now. And imagine now it's a day from now, a couple of days from now, when you're back painting walls and ceilings over your head now. And just imagine how much more movement you've got now, how much more comfort you've got now in that shoulder now, just feeling so good now, going forward to all the work that you're doing. Remember to look after your shoulders because um, it's one of the weapons that you use, for want of a better word, in what you do. So looking after your shoulders, maybe doing some regular mobility, some backward circles to allow that blood to flow. But when you know all that old pain that was a nine and discomfort's gone and you truly feel that that discomfort's gone once and um, for all, then and only then, open your eyes. I swear, it's like my whole body's numb now. <laughs> okay. Is that, a awesome. good Is that a good feeling? I think I'm ready. I think it's done. <laughs> Test it. Test your range of motion. Oh, wow. Wow. It's like a zero. It's but, zero no, real, now. You know people are not going to believe this, right? It's like my muscle's a little sore, but it's not like that sharp pain back here. It's completely yeah. gone. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Oh, it's so weird. When you're saying, um, like, the purple and pink, and, like, it, like, started taking over my whole body, and then it was awesome. It felt super good. Like, that, that sharp, sharp pain is gone. Yeah. And sometimes, like, when there's remnants, remnants, yeah. easy for me to say, it's almost like, again, someone grabbing your wrist, right? And you feel yeah. them grabbing your wrist, and then they let go. And then for a few moments after, if you weren't looking or your eyes were closed, you still might have a sensation of them still touching you, even though they're not touching you anymore. It's just that tension that was there, almost like that muscle memory, if you will. And yeah. what you'll start to notice is that will start to go down as well, just like your back did when we did that work, as that energy can now flow inside your body now. Oh, wow. It's crazy. Are you happy with that? Are you satisfied with that? Yeah. Like, at the back, um, it was still tender after a few days, but now today, like, it's been a week now. Yeah. And uh, today, it absolutely feels amazing. It felt weird, like, driving. Usually, I have to, like, put my foot more extended to take that yeah. tweak out of my back and this week like driving uh sleep i'm sleeping better like with my back it's like crazy and then like i had a big knot in my back and it's slowly dissolving away yeah and uh it's like a big sciatic nerve but it's slowly going away it's crazy so and then, yeah. and then like i'm so excited for my shoulder because i oh it's gonna be good so it's yeah. like so hard 
Yeah, absolutely. So what happens sometimes is when we've got a pain that's stabbing, obviously that's not a good thing. So the first thing is to stop that from happening. And then because yeah. of because of the inflammation, whenever we have any kind of like injury, chronic injury or whatever, your body responds by almost putting a cushion around it with inflammation to protect yeah. it. But then it starts to cause a lot more, a lot more pain. Sometimes that pain can go into numbness, complete numbness in that area, which might seem like a good thing. But it just means that the energy or the blood flow isn't completely going there. So when the numbness is removed and you start to feel something, even if it's a bit yeah. tender, tender is good. Tender means that feeling is starting it's healing. to back yeah. up. It's almost like getting a good massage. You know, if you get a really good massage, you kind of come out and you feel like you've been readjusted and you might feel a bit, oh, it's a bit sore there. But then the next day you wake up and you've got that range of motion. You can do things you haven't been able to do, crazy yoga postures you haven't been able to do. <laughs> for a while but um the first the first few moments after spring, that energy starts to flow that you haven't felt for a few years starts to feel so that foreign. but that pinch back here is gone it's like, weird, isn't it? pinch more. yeah cool. my shoulders are sore because i i painted ceilings all week so yeah yeah but, but those my muscles but this like this pinch right here oh it's a little tiny when i push on it yeah oh my god yeah. Oh my God. And you, what you might start to notice is that tenderness starting to go down more and more. But when, once like that inflammation starts to go down, it's then your body's way of kind of being able to heal you up. So you're probably fine, much like with your back, we worked on it a week ago or so, is you'll probably wake up tomorrow or later on tomorrow. And that, that, that little bit of um, tenderness is gone down. Think of it like an operation, you know, after they patched you up, you know, yeah. the tumor's gone. You feel a little bit, little bit sore, but it's, a, it's not the sharp pain. It's not that anymore. It's just be like, all right, yeah. I know something's, I know something's happened here, but now I can move and have a lot more freedom until it just dissipates and you just have full motion return to your arm yeah. now with that pink. Now just imagine that pink flowing now even more, just healing up that whole area called your shoulder and you can take that pink and purple now and put it anywhere in your body that you want to feel that healing just dissolve everything now but shoot me a message tomorrow or monday okay and um you know let me know how much okay. better it feels and then we'll probably add that to the video as well cool oh yeah for sure for awesome. sure well Good. the back like after one week huge and i've had bad back problems since I was a kid because I grew a foot in six months so okay. like I really twisted my spine a bit and okay. then yeah it's the most relief I've had in years like I'm I'm turning 40 so that'd be almost like 25 years of pain chronic pain in my back and just oh felt so good that's, that's amazing <laughs> right and that was the last thing we did last week it was like yeah. we, we'd finished and you're like oh but you know I got this little thing in my back the, uh, hey, we got one more minute left. Yes, yes. Let's take care of that. <laughs> and then it, yeah, beautiful, good stuff. Send me a message tomorrow, or Monday. Yes. Give, me, give me um, give me an update on how it is. But yeah, you might feel okay. tender for a few minutes, maybe for the next day. Take that as a sign; it's good. And and then probably tomorrow or Monday, you'll probably feel quite differently about it. Is that that blood and energy just flows, and you have more movement? But let me know, and then um, you know, we'll put this at the end of the video. Have a good Thank rest you. of your day. Thank you. Bye. See you later, Jim. <laughs>